Check, check. Uh, porn stars, the Google podcast, and the Africa Live. I'm here with Sam Shock. Wait, person? <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Oh, this this just goes. This just goes away. Uh, that was my favorite intro. Was uh, like the third episode. Uh, uh, Charlotte Cross. She goes. This is the podcast where we find out if porn stars are people. <laughs> so well, I don't know. I think if you're a guy, you're really more just a penis. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just. But I feel that way as a civilian too. Sometimes. That you're just a penis. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's just in that situation. It's like it's. What's the point of any of this? Yeah. Um, so thank you for doing this, man. Uh, this is uh, we're in New Jersey. We're in Edi- the beautiful Edison, New Jersey. There's not much of a view. No, it's, it's a weird town. Yeah. Not not from this window. It's uh, it's like it's a town that you sort of have to have a convention in because there's no there's no like identity to this place. <laughs> I felt like they had it here because it was way cheaper than doing it in New York. <laughs> Did, I think it, yeah, it used to be somewhere else, from what I heard. Like years and years ago, it was somewhere else in New Jersey. Yeah, I wouldn't know. And they got bo- <laughs> and they got booted. I think. Oh, for being shit. sex positive. Well, I didn't know that New Jersey was anti-sex. Yeah, well, I think everywhere, when it comes down to it, politically, and once the discussion goes, it's sort of every everywhere becomes anti-sex. Huh. I don't know. I know that I think they're pulling out of. I don't think they're doing Denver this year. Is that right? Yeah. I, I know, know they're trying why. to add some places. They're adding more places. Yeah, that's what I heard. I, I got I got the inside scoop. Oh, oh, go- you have the. In- <laughs> are they doing L.A.? Because that would be um, very convenient. I don't think they're doing L.A. because they got the same kind of thing. They got booted from another conference. It's like what? the everybody. It's like everybody's holding. They're trying to hold their ground and like block on things. Because hmm. um, there was what was there? There's. Um, I know that L.A. is not anti-sex. But there's like no, for so sure. many conventions. No, but there was one person who was doing a different convention that was competing. And they did something to get sort of exotica like in the in the wrong light, and so they got like. Oh got yeah, I know people in the sex industry. They're always like trying to make different conventions look bad. And yeah, stuff like that. yeah. Well, it's just like anything else. It's like uh, I I don't know why people like people like get angry about competition, yeah. and they're trying to like block everything. I don't know. And the people just I don't know. They like to have drama too. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I think. This is what I think. Uh, in this industry, and I think, and I think in uh, uh, comedy, it's, we're always trying, we're always competing. I'm a comedian. We're always competing with each other. But it's like what I'm doing is not the same as what this guy's doing. Yeah. So it's like there's never. It's not direct competition. It's like a weird. I don't even know if it's competition. I think it's just like like high school. They just like to have, have drama, and so they yeah find reasons to yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've I've done a pretty okay job the last like year and a half. Just getting like you can spot those people. Yeah. And oh, yeah. You can spot them. You just go around them. Especially if you live in LA, you have to learn to spot them real quick. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to be bogged down. Yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you been in this industry? Um, I've been doing pro porn for about six months. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Very cool. But before that, I did camming and um, like making my own videos. Yeah. I actually didn't start making my own videos until like probably eight months ago, seven months ago, like okay. right before I started doing pro porn. And how old are you? I'm 30. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So what were you doing before all this? Um, I was doing security mostly. Okay. Um, I was just hurling people. <laughs> I was, I mean, I was sort of already in the sex industry in a way cause I was doing security um, at strip clubs Okay. and stuff like that. So, and then I got fired. So <laughs> I was like, like, I got, I had like a really good job um, where I was getting like a ton of, cause if you do security at strip club, you get tipped out by the girls afterwards. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Depending on how good you are at like keeping shit down or whatever. Yeah, and also depending on the place. And I was at a place, and they got like really good tip outs at the end of the night. And uh, otherwise, you're getting minimum wage. Yeah. And I got fired from that job, so um, I didn't have any other option except for minimum wage. I was like, fuck. Like, I guess I'll just do porn now. Yeah. Well, why, well, but you knew that this was on the table. So how did you know that, like, you had, like, an offer looming? Um, no, but I had been camming. Okay. So, like, I decided, and I would, but I would only do it, like, sometimes, like, maybe once a week, yeah. once every other week. Yeah. But whenever I did it, I made good money. And so when I got fired, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go all in. So I just contacted some, some girls and started making videos. No shit. Um, and then once those went went up, then people started contact. Like once people like people. Like now you're in it. Well, yeah, because the, the videos that kind of went like viral on Twitter, and um, then like like uh, agencies saw it and yeah. they contacted me. That's great. Like, hey, we want to sign you and stuff like that. So. That's great. So who are you, so who are you signed with? ATMLA. Okay, very yeah. cool. 
Well, yeah, because I like shopped around and asked a bunch of people that were in the industry. I was like, which what's who the should best, I do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the best one, and they were they were number one or two because uh, OC is OC models is I would say number one for guys, but like overall number one I would say is ATMLA. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know why, but AT or the OC they seem to get their guys work all the time. Yeah, they have a really good guy. Because it, it's, it's a smaller it's a smaller market, right? So it's like. For guys, guys, yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's only a few of us, and it's like uh, and <laughs> this is the same guys over and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, do you think do you think there's a there's a there's more of a longevity for guys? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, okay, I, I thought it was interesting. I went on Pornhub and I was like, I wanted to see like who was like the number one porn star. You yeah, know? and they they have rankings in all sorts yeah. of ways. So I look up like the most views on Pornhub. Yeah, like the top five are all guys. No shit. Yeah, because the guys have been in for like forty years. Right, 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 right. Well, and also, yeah, and they're yeah, so they're in. Yeah, I guess if you accumulate the whole thing, and there's only and there's less guys, then like no, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, but but they start like say you're a guy you start at eighteen and you're still doing it like fifty eight. You know, is there guys who are fifty eight still doing it? Oh yeah. 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 No shit. Yeah, there's lots of them. No <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's that's the thing I started to notice, and, and that's the other one is like uh, I find that that dudes are not now because I'm because I'm like porn adjacent now by doing this podcast. I'm, I'm like I have way more knowledge than I used to, but I find that like the dudes generally aren't tagged, like they're not they're not like putting the dudes' yeah. names on it. They they're don't, like, they're getting better about it, but I mean, certain companies will never tag me or never never tag the guy. Yeah, why is that? Um, nobody cares about the nobody guy. cares who the guy right. is. Porn stars aren't people. Yeah, <laughs> if they're guys, <laughs> porn stars are people as long as you're women. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. All right. So outside of this whole thing, what do you what do you do to like um, maintain sanity and be like a person? Um, I work out a lot. Yeah, yeah. I, what is I your? Mean, that's always helped. Like even when I was uh, in because uh, I, I was in the army for no four shit. years. Yeah. So like when I was in Afghanistan. That's that's a really what helped my sanity is just to work out all the fucking time. Now, well, what's that? What's that schedule like? Is that is that basically tons and tons of free time? No, 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 not at all. No, no, no. No, you you work you work like twelve hours a day, seven days okay. a week. <laughs> but then, but then, but you're in Afghanistan, so it's sort of like the off hours are spent. I don't know. I mean, what's Working the what out. are the yeah? What's the options? I mean, the, your days. It's not just, Vegas. Yeah, your days are just like you. Uh, you wake up, you go to PT, you. Uh, head to work and then you like 12 hours later you get back eat go to the gym go to sleep yeah very routine yeah it'll, did, fuck, did it'll you, fuck with your head if you, <laughs> you're not careful did you gain did you gain any like uh did you gain like a um what's what's the word i want like a a, a routine out of that like are you do you still live like that kind of no not at all i'm not i'm not a routine type of no? person yeah that's one thing that i found um it's kind of interesting um since i started porn seems like time really really slowed down like it seems like six months ago was like three years ago yeah because because when you're like doing something new all the time like outside of your routine, yeah. outside of what you're used to it's like time slows down because i don't, I don't know what it is yeah they well, say that about traveling too if you travel a lot because you're like you're occupying yeah you're occupying so much of your time and your and your mind with with new yeah just, just like new, new stimulus all the time yeah yeah so it's like uh, that's what I was wondering. If if I if I go do like a tour for a month, yeah. it's like you look back and you're like, I can't believe that was like 12 days ago. It's like this crazy thing that happened in the audience. Yeah. and you're like, that was last week. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's like you know, because because when because when you're not working that hard, it's yeah. It's I mean, like you're just like in a, if you're like in a routine, you know, and you're not really doing that much. You're and it's like you have your nine to five job, and the six months will go by and you look back and be like. Hold on a minute. It's been six <laughs> months already. <laughs> Fuck, where'd my life go? Right. You know? I find it. I find it super because it's like uh, uh, I don't. I try not to date people in my industry, so it's hard to find people. Yeah, especially never, in New York. never date somebody in the porn industry. That's a bad idea. I've <laughs> well, already, I learned that. Well, I learned important that important real in, quick. Not important <laughs> in comedy. I don't want to date in comedy. But so it's like so. Then I'm trying to deal with people, and it's like you try to you try to set up a date, and it's like uh, they're like, oh, I'm free Saturday. Oh, I'm, I got to show them I'm free Saturday, and then it's like, oh, I'm free the next Saturday, and it's like I don't understand how these people live. <laughs> it's like you can only hang out on Friday or Saturday. Like what? Then what's the re like? The, all the rest of the week is just wasted. Like there's no there's no social time. It's crazy that like this is how people like. I, I, there was a girl who was like, we just the the momentum died so much because it was like it would have to be the next weekend. Yeah. And it's like I don't know how people live that way. So how come they can only hang out on Saturday? I, people that have nine to five, it's like it's like oh, oh I okay. wake up and do the thing, and it's like whatever, and then I, well, and then on and then Wednesdays at Pilates, and it's like so it's like they got all these routines. Yeah. 
and then they got work meetings and it's like by the time you get to hang yeah, it's crazy it's crazy how normal people live yeah it's like this i don't know it's this vortex yeah of nothing like of nothing it's just like it's repetition and nothing yeah it stresses me out yeah and, and i think that i don't know what it is but like as you get older it's harder because everybody has the routine and they don't want to add any new shit to the routine so yeah it's just kind of hard to do yeah. any dating right and yeah and yeah, like how do you date i don't know personally like i'm the same as when i was younger like I'll have like a routine or whatever and I'll have a bunch of stuff that I have to do. Yeah. But I can always work stuff in too. Yeah. Nobody else ever wants to work anything in. Right. They're like, oh, that's too stressful. I don't want to work stuff in. I'm like, yeah. I don't, know. I don't get stressed that easy. It's, it's tough. I, it's like every time I go to go on like a new first date, I'm, I'm like, kinda, I'm kind of like, ah, there's like that moment of like, what's the point of this? Like, is this, <laughs> like, this going to end up the same way? Yeah. Like, why bother starting this process? <laughs> it's, it's a weird, it's a weird world. So you, th- you said you're 30. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're, you're just touching into thing. And like, I'm starting to, I'm starting to think, so I'm on like the, I'm on like a lot of the apps half, half because it's like, it's kind of fun. And sometimes it turns into these weird like trolling sessions <laughs> because it's like, you can, like you can feel somebody's personality, even on like Tinder, you can feel why their last relationship didn't work. Yeah. Because of how they're reacting to and you, and also because they're on Tinder, <laughs> right? Well, that's the thing is like, it's like the longer somebody's on one of those apps, like the more in depth their profile becomes, <laughs> and they're like, "Don't swipe if this, 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 and this. If you're if you voted for this person, if you did this, if you're not a vegan, and it's like, wow, like don't like this person's life is like it's just it's just getting more and more cut off, and they're like, it's like uh, they're becoming like like a like an old. I was like using like old Italian grandfather. Like they've already made up their mind about everything. <laughs> it's all done. There's no new stuff. It's like if you have sex with this person, it's like you got to. There's four moves that you can do, and that's it. Don't touch <laughs> that. Don't try that. Don't eat my ass. Like the, all these things. It's like you know. It's like all this this cutoffs along the way. I feel like that's what we do in life. Is yeah. We just start cutting shit off. So you gotta stay. You gotta stay in the pocket. Yeah, and then with me, like um, if I'm on those apps, it's like you'll you'll match with somebody, and then. Uh, you say hi, and then you get blocked because they, yeah. they didn't read your profile, and they read it. It says like you're important. Like mm, do, bye. Do, do you put that right out there? <laughs> what? You yeah, put of it course. out there. Because so, this is this is kind of fucked up. But I'm having trouble just interviewing porn stars now, dating women because they're worried that I'm hanging out with porn stars, and they Ugh. don't want that to be part of their life. So I can't imagine what it's like to have to try to date a civilian as a porn star. Yeah, I mean. Because there's so many, you know, there's millions of people, especially in L.A. Yeah. So, you know, well, so there's people who are cool with it, people yeah. who are into it. So yeah. This and also people that block you. And so because you. of that, you <laughs> put it out. Well, but so you know that there's something. So you put it out there immediately. Yeah. In case there's a problem. Yeah. It's on the it's table. It's just it's like a filter. You yeah. Filter them out at the beginning. You don't have to worry <laughs> right. about later. I wonder if you put that in the thing, like, like check, like check, no porn stars, and just check. And then somebody the asked me, like, why, why would you put that in? Like, why does it matter what you do? I'm like, because it does, because like half the people block it you immediately. To you, it doesn't matter <laughs> to me. Yeah. He's like, yeah. but it doesn't matter to me. I'm like, yes, but it matters to other people. I'm just filtering out those people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. It, it is. It's. It's such a weird. I don't know. I mean, we're at this. We're in this weird place. We're at this weird place with, with uh, how specific we pretend that we want our our dating situation to be. Because you can pick, like, you can just pick out a thing. You can just decide. Like, if you go on Tinder, you can, like, you can find, like, you can find an Asian if that's what you want. Because <laughs> you'll just, you only swipe on Asians. And then now, all of a sudden, your probability to date an Asian girl is, like, uh, massive and, ex- and exponentially increased. Like, in normal life, you'd have to, like, then, like, there's not just going to be an Asian in every room you walk in. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't think, you don't live in L.A., do you? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a bad example. Like, whatever your thing is, <laughs> like, you can just pick it out now on the thing. And then you can, you can like, artificially find a way to be that, have that be the only thing that you date, which yeah. is not a natural process. Yeah, I guess that's, that's kind of true. But I don't know. In, in L.A., it seems like, you know, there's so many people, like, compacted, like, you kind of have. Yeah, have your choice. Well, is it L.A. and New York are obviously good places to uh, to to be able to date because whatever the population is, it plays out in those two cities. That's where everybody goes. Yeah. So it's like nobody's really tall in New York because nobody's really tall in America. So it's like just from a probability standpoint, everybody's sort of like at that at that regular height. Now, there's going to be a random tall person here and there, but yeah. it's like because you're throwing so many numbers at it, like statistics play themselves out. Yeah. It's just an interesting uh, way way to live. Uh, L.A., man, I don't, I can't, I haven't caught the vibe on L.A. I don't really know. You've been in L.A. a long time. Yeah, I mean, two years. It's a decent amount Where'd of time. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Oregon. No shit. Yeah. Where in Oregon? 
Um, like around Portland. Okay. Uh, I I re so I played I played Eugene a bunch. I played uh, uh, Salem a bunch. I really like that whole area. That's the yeah. that's the other one. The Portland. They're good the, people. Yeah. Portland's getting an exotica, from what I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. And yeah, that visit my family. <laughs> yeah. They How said they, s- they said don't know I do porn. No, they don't. No. How do you uh, do? You care that they like? Is it just something you haven't now brought up be, yet? Or nah, they'll just like disown me if they find out. You think so? so? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Why? What do they do? Are they? Is your father a preacher? Like, is it that? Yeah, it's it's like that. Is he really? <laughs> He's not a preacher, but they're like like you know, choir deacon, all that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. What is it? What is it about that that kind of uh, growing up with that lifestyle like? Do you immediately? Did you feel like you immediately needed to rebel from that kind of environment, or? Uh, no, not really. It's because it seems I don't know people. I feel like people in people in porn and people in comedy. In my experience, there's a lot of that kind of back. There's a lot. Yeah, of, there's I've, a lot of I've found that. Fathers. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Of, a lot of the. A lot of the girls. They had pastors for, for their dad. Because you, you can't. You can't. Like, <laughs> you can't choke something off. Uh, it's like. It's like the the more you try to remove your children from yeah. a particular thing like they're gonna they're gonna swing into that lane i don't know what it is yeah i don't know what it is either there's something it's, about it's humanity. Really, it's really common yeah i mean for the guys and the girls that, that their their family was super religious you yeah know? like pe- people who were homeschooled their whole life they like never got out yeah you know, it was just like their life was extremely strict right and uh and now they're now they're in porn yeah. <laughs> yeah, like people. Yeah, people that like mo- for the most part, people that were like that were like getting laid on the bus and like and like getting fingered on the bus. They don't make it in porn. They just <laughs> they just get a regular. They're accountants now. Yeah, they just yeah. Get a regular job. Yeah, they just uh, got they married. Get, and they get married. <laughs> yeah, they get married. They have kids because they already they already they already did the thing. Yeah. <laughs> they were already they were already the thing on the bus. That's funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Actually, that was that's super specific. <laughs> and I'm thinking of, a, of an actual person. That's really funny. So, uh, so you you've always been like an athlete. Were you, I mean, were you? I don't know. Were you a thing in in high school? Were you a particular sport? Were you oh yeah, I did. I, my main sport was uh, basketball, but yeah. you know, I did a lot of stuff. You know, we I did uh, some flag football and soccer and track. Yeah. yeah so yeah, uh, Oregon's got to be a huge track place, right? Because you got you yeah. got the, the college nearby. Well, Eugene, right? Eugene's the big track school because of Nike and Beaverton and all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know if it was big, but it was something. It, I, I felt like the other sports were like to stay in shape for basketball for me. Yeah. That's mostly how it was. Yeah, there was that vibe. So when I finally started running track, it was one of these things where it's like, well, baseball, baseball, I was like between, I was like between sizes. So it was like, it was like JV varsity. It was like that like thing. And I got missed by both. So then I went, I went to do track to do the, to like stay in shape. And then that was the thing. Like they, we'd, we'd get a lot of football players that would come out just for the sprint season, try to stay fast. Um, yeah. But track tracks are really it's a fun and in individual competitive sport, yeah. which nothing else has that has that vibe. Like unless you're LeBron, you're not really competing against single people in basketball. I mean, yeah. so it's a team deal. But like when you can run somebody down on the on the track and win that medal, that's that's like a whole different. It's like it feels like a gladiator kind of moment yeah 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 it's definitely different because yeah i mean that's what they always say you're not really competing against other people you're competing with your own score yeah well but no but then there's a guy in front of you that you can catch maybe yeah i mean you can but and when it really comes down to it you're trying to beat your last time yeah that's true whereas like even even like two person sports like tennis or something you still it's still you have to beat the other guy it's not yeah you're not competing against yourself yeah they don't even have to have a you, you don't even have to have a good day you should have a better day than that guy yeah <laughs> he could just have a bad. He could just suck. Yeah. That's always weird. That is weird when you're in that moment where it's like you're like, oh, I don't have to do a lot to do to win this thing. Yeah. You, and then you just sort of like scale it back. <laughs> That's an interesting one. So this goes to Oregon. So then, so then you went to LA, you went to LA specifically to do porn. No, no, it was more just like at the time I was living in uh, Phoenix. I'd, I'd been living in Arizona for about five or six years, and then uh, what was really in Arizona? What was in Arizona? Yeah. Mm, nothing. That's why I left. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a job. I didn't have anything going on. So I was like, I'm going to go to L.A., I guess. So I just went to L.A. I didn't have a place to live. I just drove out there and lived in my car. No shit. And got a job. <laughs> how long were you living in your car? <laughs> Until I saved up enough to get a room. <laughs> how, how, long did that, how long did that last? Uh, probably like a month. No shit. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, 
It's, I mean, it's so many, it's like the heart of so many good stories where I'm just like, fuck it, I don't know. Yeah. And I just it. go figure it out and go sleep in my car. <laughs> so what's your sleeping in the, wait, what was your sleeping in the car process? Because I know everybody has a different thing. Because this is the thing well, that I, I always I, debate. I always have the, so whether or not I'm sleeping in my car, I still have my gym membership. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I go to the gym every day. This is the thing. Yeah, I take my shower. You can shower, you can yeah. do the thing. You can still be a productive member of society. But like, uh, but this is, the, wh when I do the comedy tour, sometimes the guys are like, oh, and then if we just sleep in the car one night. And I'm like, no, we're not. Like I, that's my line. I was like, I'm not gonna sleep in the car. Oh, but okay. so do you? That's not my line. <laughs> are you? <laughs> no, I sleep in the car. Are you, well, I don't have a great back, so I just can't do it. But so are you? Are you front seat? Like yeah, front, recline? front seat. I mean, ideally, I would not like to do that, but I. Well, that's all I had because yeah. I can't fit anywhere else in my car. Well, was it a pickup truck? No, it's just a. Uh, it's a uh, like a four door sedan. But yeah, I can't fit in the you back. You can't fit in the back. No, <laughs> does it curl up? No way. <laughs> How tall are you? Six two. Six two. Yeah, it's yeah. That's interesting. That's that, that. So like, I was uh, I was like in the market looking for. Um, they have they have the the bed now that has that uh, you can blow it up and then it, and then it goes it sucks into the, um, the, the 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 foot area the leg area of the back seat. So then now you have a flat thing in the whole back. The leg area but of the back. Seat. Yeah, so it's like uh, so it's it's a it's an air mattress, but then it has like it's like an L. So that you put it in and then you push all the you push the front seats all the way forward oh, and then okay. it's got two little humps. <laughs> And it fits right in the thing. You're giving me ideas. I know. It's, so, it's yeah, like, I, it's I never like, need a hotel room again now. Right. So like, <laughs> but you're looking at that and you're like, wait, why did somebody invent it? Like, why is there a market for this? And like, and like, who's the <laughs> There's person? a market in LA because like, it's so expensive <laughs> to get rid of. But who's in the second? And then you're spending $80 on an air mattress to sleep in your car. Then it's like, and then, then you got to look at your life at some point. And you're like, it's like, there's probably a better $80 <sighs> you could spend. And rent is so expensive <laughs> <laughs> in LA. You're saving so much money. No, because that wasn't the last time. Because um, I, I was, uh, I was uh, staying with. Like I got my own place. Yeah. And then uh, I moved out, and I moved in with my girlfriend at the time. And uh, then she was crazy, so I had to leave that place. And then I didn't have to, anywhere to go, so yep. I just slept in my car again. No shit. Sure. <laughs> but this is the thing: is like if that's an option, then it's like then that be, then life becomes a little bit less stressful because there are people that just. I can't. Yeah, I can't do that now. See, I, I, also I, never never date strippers either. That's also a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My buddy of mine, Nathan Orton. Shout out Nathan Orton. He's got this. He's got this bit. But the beginning of the bit is just like he's like, oh, I was dating the stripper. He's like, which is the worst thing you can do? Don't do that. Work. No. <laughs> and I made the mistake over and over. Yeah. Well, that's where you were working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I I made a hard rule myself that like I'm 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 I try not to like date adjacent to the profession. So it's like I don't date comedians, and I and I try not to fuck the audience. It's like it makes everything a little easier. Mm. It's harder from the standpoint of like now of you have to use this extra step. <laughs> well, it's an extra step, right? So you have to like, cause you have to meet somebody outside of the thing and you have to explain them what you do. Um, but it makes it easier from yeah. the standpoint. That yeah. Like, I mean, explaining what you do is so hard when you're in porn. Yeah. Like the, people don't understand any of it. And that's that's why they use the civilian thing. Yeah. Because you know how you, you know, you already said it. They're like dating civilians. And uh, that first time I heard that, I laughed so hard because, um, you know, in the military, in the military we, we yeah. say civilian because, yeah. and the reason we say it is because they don't, people don't understand right. at all. And yeah. So it's a completely different thing. And that's makes a lot of sense for the porn industry. Some people were like, oh, you shouldn't say civilian because you're not in the military. And it's like, yeah, but it's the exact same situation. Yeah. It's like the people outside the industry, they do not understand at all. Right. They're like, how could you just have sex? It's like, I don't know. It's really makes yeah. sense once you do it no and the w <laughs> it's, the, it's just the biggest thing i'm struggling with and, it, and it's making it harder because i'm meeting all the people in this industry that like i think you guys have evolved to to the place where relationships will eventually be where people just sort of understand the difference between sex and the difference between like a relationship but it's like because so many times you'll meet somebody and you have sex and that's the thing and then now you have to make it a relationship because that's the rules it yeah. has to now be but it's like it was never going to work and it's like and the 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 amount of communication that civilians have is none versus like what happens in porn it's important you have to agree to the hundred things that you're going to do in the in the thing and then yeah. now you you have you have that communication uh with it's like there's so much omission that people do and like there's so much there's so much dark shit that people do sexually that they don't want to share with their partner just in regular relationships that it, it's like it's a nightmare yeah. It's a nightmare until they get through. It's like you could date somebody two years and then you get like a new piece of information. Like, I didn't even know this is who you were. You've been this person for two years and you didn't tell me that. And now it's like the whole thing's yeah. gone out of whack. It's like if I knew ahead of time, we could have started there. And that's what uh, that's a, a, we a weird thing is uh, it's like one night stand. You'll just 
you can just tell the guy just like you can tell him all your little things because yeah. you don't give a shit about this relationship yeah. but then if it's a relationship then and it's people ask me like sex advice stuff sometimes they're like well how do i tell my partner they're like this how do i like this? and it's kind of hard to explain to them just do it because you know they're so afraid of what their partner will think but i'm like just think of it as a, if it was a one night stand you wouldn't even think twice about telling yeah them. well for me i think it's more like just think about it that like if you're actually trying to get if the end goal is to like get a successful relationship why would you want to hang out with someone who's not into the thing that you want them to be into yeah so if they're not into it, get the fuck out of here yeah, if but like they're, they're like been in the relationship for two years and they haven't told them what they like sexually. Yet, yeah, you know, it's, cra- it's crazy. <laughs> it's like it's like if you like to fuck feet, you have to t- find a girl who likes to get her feet fucked or is cool <laughs> with you, likes you enough that it's fine. Yeah. But it's like because otherwise you're just repressing this thing and it gets bigger. Like that's the other thing. It's like that's what I that's what I've learned with the porn thing. It's like is is once you repress it, it just gets bigger. So like the people that are into some of the fetishes that are out there. It, like if they were just getting that in their regular life, it wouldn't be as big of a thing. It wouldn't be a taboo. It would just be like, an, oh, that's what we do on Thursday. Yeah. But now it's like I got to hide in a closet and watch this video and pay this person to make this content for me. You know, it's like it becomes this bigger yeah. monster. Yeah. In, in porn, like if you date somebody in porn or having sex with them casually, like they don't they don't tell you like right up front exactly what they They have like a list. Yeah. They're like here's my list. <laughs> yeah, and I guess and and, and from what here's I all the things I like, and, and here's my list of things I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I guess I think. I, and, and here's another th- weird thing about porn. I've learned it's about stuff that I like that I had no idea that I liked. Yes, this is what we're talking about. Because you last have episode. to do it for the for the yeah. scene, and you're like, oh, I actually fucking like this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and, that's, and that's what we're talking about in the last episode is that there's this uh, there's this civilian notion where they did it once and it was bad, and then you don't ever do it again. Yeah, and it's like no, it like. I, like I can do it good. Like, like <laughs> it's like you know nobody gives you a shot at that at that thing because it's like oh we've been there done that whatever that's not what if that's the kind of thing you're into then I'm not it's, I'm not the girl for you or whatever it is but that's a, it's a str- I think straight civilian sex is the worst is the worst possible because the 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 limitations are all there yeah because I, I from you know it's a, like gay like gay sex is a lot of is a lot more communication yeah go, these a are lot the of things. Experience. No, but these, but it's like these are the, it's like these are the, these are I the rules. I, I, don't, know, but there's, I don't really know how the gay sex goes. But they there's do roles, it. right? There's roles. There's there's a there's a bottom. There's a whatever. So it's like they have communication and they go. These are the things I like. Yeah. Straight sex, none of that. There's no communication. You just go and you wing it, <laughs> and you figure it out. Or you don't. You never do. And then and then you know and then and then it's like yeah, it wasn't really good. And it's like well, it could have been. You know, <laughs> it's that vibe. Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting place to be. So yeah, so so I don't know. So so you don't date in you don't date in the industry anymore. No. So are you date, but then do you find that you need outside of outside of like creating content and doing the things? Do you find that you need to? I don't know. Do you need to be dating somebody? Do you need to do you need to be going elsewhere for for sexual pleasure? Yeah, I mean, I'd prefer to have a relationship with somebody, but it's kind of hard, you know when you're in the porn industry. So do you get cut off immediately? Like, do you get, do you find that you're getting maybe like people that now are gravitating towards knowing that you're in porn? Are they just using you for sex then? Um, I think sometimes, Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, so far I haven't had really much luck with, uh, dating. So I tried to, I tried dating people in porn and that was a terrible idea. <laughs> I feel like what it is with with porn is like either they're like younger and they're just like really like not completely stable, yeah, or they're older and they already have been single for a really long time. They yeah. just don't really want to add anything to that. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. So it is. It's, yeah, it's we we do we like we start to like the we start to shrink up a little bit and we we become less um, available to any. Yeah. any new thing yeah there is there, there and then you always have to deal with the fact that they're they're making like three four ten times as much as you <laughs> right yeah i was i, I was i was eventually. and then you're like you're like a sugar baby and they're just like buying everything for you yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, that's feels weird too. Yeah, that's too. yeah i had that dynamic once you're I like oh that. i just paid two thousand dollars you just you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> making like a thousand a day I didn't, yeah, I didn't like, I had that experience once, once. So as a comedian, it's not, you know, especially you're just, you're always struggling when you're trying to make it. And it's like, 
I was dating people, and I was, and I got to that mark, like mid twenties, where if you had a regular career, you were doing well. And if you're in comedy, you're just you're still kind of scraping the barrel. And so then I was, I'd be in these relationships with girls my age, and they were making good money, and it and it and it fucked with me. Yeah, like they were fine, but then it was the but then because they were making this money, and the, the New York market is crazy. I mean, people make money in New York, and so it's like it it, it yeah it made me it made me feel terrible, like having to yeah. Like, and it's like, and sometimes it was just this thing. It's like, I, yo, I can't party the way you party. <laughs> like you, like your party is like, go on this crazy trip and this thing, and you're spending all this money. It's like, I can't party like that. Yeah, I can party like you know, fucking Groupon, you know, <laughs> Groupon deal. That's my, that's my party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't, I can't ball on that level. Oh no, I got you. And it's like, eventually, it's not, it's not fun. Yeah, but I mean, uh, although like. Uh, Sometimes, because um, I actually I got into acting uh, too for a while, so I have a lot of friends who are in acting, so they're also kind of scraping at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. They're 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 all they are, they live that group on life too. Yeah, live that group on life. <laughs> oh, that's the, uh, now, do you find? Um, do, I mean, now that you're sick, you said you're you're six months in. Yeah, and you're just hitting the ground running on everything. Do you think that uh, hitting this industry so hard is gonna is gonna cut you off from other like? Where are we at from the spectrum of can you do porn and then also act in, in other things? Yeah. Because there was a um, mark at one point where it's like if you do porn, you're out. from You just you get cut off from yeah. serious acting. It, it used to be like that, but it's not like that anymore. And if you actually – if you look at it, there's been a lot of famous actors who started in porn. Yeah. Because people never even heard about it. No, there's something, there's something great now too about like because porn puts you on a platform to get – uh, viewership and followers people yeah. are really like using that experience to to leverage it into other things so many people have just hit this industry for hard for like six seven years and then just now they got now they got a million followers and they can, they can literally take that into any profession yeah you can that's that's all that's what everything is these days it's all, it's all about like you know having your own followers having your own social proof and bringing your stuff to their you know yeah. their project well, that, so well, that it's like it's like they're trying to grab a bunch of people with a bunch of followers and bring it to their project yeah and then you have a bunch of followers on your people watching your project so yeah that, well, that, that's sort of how it, i mean that's not how it used to be it used to be like you, you just take a nobody and you make them a somebody but now it's they take the somebody right. and they make their project to somebody yeah we yeah we i think we all have this guy that everybody like has this fantasy about the entertainment industry that like at all levels that there's just a guy somewhere with a cigar yeah and he's just like, I'm gonna make you a star, kid. Yeah. <laughs> and that guy doesn't exist. Not anymore. Uh, I, watching what's happened with with friends of mine that have made it, even along the way, it it, it was mind blowing. Like people would have would have like four things that anybody in comedy would want, and then they'd go to an agent, and they'd be like, Yeah, well, listen, you get one, you get yourself one more thing, yeah, and then we got you. But until that mark, it's like what? Like, like if they're gonna get themselves five things that everybody wants in comedy, why the f why do they need you at that point? Yeah, it's like they've already done the thing. Like now it's o it's over. You're yeah. like you're coming to the party late. I mean, it's it's nuts. So do you so do you find that like like do you find that? Uh, well, you're already saying that like there's less dude there's less dudes in the industry, so that that makes it easier to get work. But do you find that whoever the guy is with a million Twitter followers, is that guy going to get the job over you every time? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I don't know if it's about followers. It's just like once your name is known in the industry, um, and actually, yeah, follow, followers matter a lot. Like having a lot of people that, that like you. I mean, just like anything. And they're like, oh, well, lots of people like you and we want them. We want people to watch our thing. So we'll just have you and then your followers will watch it. You know? Yeah. So that's that's really big. But. It's also with guys um, way different than with girls because with guys, they, especially if it's like a big expensive project, they have to make sure that they get a guy that they know will be able to perform. Because right. if you're not able to get hard and stay hard, yeah. then they're going to lose out on a shit ton yeah. of money. Yeah. So if you have a guy who's been doing it for 10 years and has been reliable every single time, then you're going to pick right. them over some right. new guy. And they're, they're like, you know, if, if you're not able to do it, then it's like, oh, shit, well, there's thousands upon thousands of dollars. Yeah. Well, we try to find a replacement. You know? Right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. Yeah, the veteran status thing really. Whereas it with girls, it's like, well, you have just have to have a vagina. So <laughs> let's <laughs> just, figure it out. We'll so, just, well, and that's the thing. If you're if you're a new girl, and it's your first shoot. Yeah. It's really easy to get a first shoot. Like, yeah. oh, everybody wants you because it's, it's your first Brand shoot. Brand new, yeah. You know, if you're a first shoot for well, a guy, it's like nobody will touch you. Is that right? You. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. 
So how do you prove yourself in this industry? Well, I mean, I, I don't know how people used to do it, but I think that the way to do it now is just to make your own stuff. Yeah. So you make your own clips and, uh, you know, you can show show them what, uh, or you can show them that and then hope that. that this is the thing you. I get a lot. Now that, I'm, now that I'm in charge of this podcast, I get a lot of, like, just random dudes that will message me and they're like, yo, uh, I'm, I'm trying to be male talent. And I was like, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm not in this thing. Oh, yeah. They, not, I, I get that. To the I wrong get guy. Every single day in my DMs is, it's hey, how do I how do I yeah. get in the industry? I'm like, I don't know. It's, it's, do you respond? It's like I, I do sometimes, and I'm I'm like, you, you don't these days. You don't. It's not like you have to go ask somebody to get in the industry. Yeah. You just have sex, put it on fucking yeah. Pornhub, well, and you're in that. the industry. Yeah, it's not, it's not even that. It's, it's more that like everybody who. Like Elon Musk didn't ask somebody. Yeah, you don't have to. Ask. There's nobody to ask. You just fucking you just, make your point and sell gonna it. If you're going to be the guy, you're going to be the guy, regardless of what the thing is, right? It's yeah. like um, the minute that you that you take the defeat of asking somebody how to do it is the moment that you tell yourself and that person that you're never going to do it. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how short the list is. They're going to go, oh, I'm, pro- I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. You just uh, you just asked me how to do something that you could you could instead of sending this message, you should have been doing the thing. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's that moment. I think we all have these these like these like these like little defeats in life. Yeah. It's like that keeps people in in their little pockets. Yeah. And and it's like if you can't make it, I think that if you can't make it um, making your own videos, then you're probably not going to be able to make it in professional porn. So. I think if you think that you are able to do the professional porn, yeah, then see what you can do. See yeah. if you can make it on on the clip stores and on Cami. And if it's not going very well, then give up because so how, well, <laughs> that's so, the easy part. Well, actual so how, actual professional porn is much more difficult. <laughs> so how well how so how did the Cami thing work? Were you able to were you able to to cultivate like a fan base? Yeah. 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 And so we what were you so then what were you doing? When you were doing it like part time, were you doing like you were just like Thursday, six PM I'm on? Uh that's what you're supposed to do. Like that's the ideal way of doing it, but like I was I, I wasn't it was not like I was trying to make money or like trying to build a fan base. I would just get on for fun basically. Just bored. So yeah. so it was and just it'd be like, work. Oh, I've been drinking it's two AM, I'm gonna get on like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's that's usually how it happened. But um now I I want to uh, like let people know when I'm going to be on. The only problem is I don't really cam by myself anymore. Yeah. Um, I pretty much only cam if I'm with another person. Um, and people are really unreliable, especially in this industry. I find that. So it's, it's really I'm hard to tell people, you know, I'm going to be on with this girl this time because right. about – 75 percent of the time they ghost you or cancel at the very yeah. last minute i'm glad so. i'm glad that you had that experience because i because initially when i started the pocket i was feeling very down that i would get ghosted and i was like well i'm never gonna it's never gonna work out but it's like if you're talent and you're doing a scene and people are bailing yeah. then that's like and they, why, they why even, should, they, why should it they even happens in like the professional industry like if if they show up they're gonna make you know a thousand dollars or however much they make and they still cancel or, or yeah. disappear at the last minute <laughs> I, I had three scenes canceled in a row, like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. I was like, you girls, you make so much money. How could you do this to that yourselves? That was somebody's <laughs> whose story. Was it? it was Jay Crew's story. Was that was that um, was that somebody can't? He was a, he was a camera guy for years, and then somebody canceled, and they had they had so much invested in the thing that he just he just jumped in, and then he <laughs> became male talent that day. It's like uh, and it's just funny because that's like that's every. That's that's every like uh, uh, fake story. Like Rudy is like, oh well, somebody gets hurt and he gets to go in. Yeah. A comedian, you're just there. Jerry Sanford doesn't show up, you get to go on. Yeah. But when you're on the camera, you get to go in. <laughs> that's everybody. That's everybody. I think that dream. was uh, John Wayne, right? He he was uh, just some guy like in the back of the set. Maybe. And then somebody saw him like you. You're very attractive. You're in the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh, wait, John Wayne, the actor. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the story yet. But there's yeah, so many. I think that's what it was. Like he was that, just yeah. he was just on a set, like yeah. just doing like some normal menial labor thing. No shit. Somebody saw him and uh, was like, John "Wow, Wayne. he's like a really attractive guy." So you're, yeah. you're now in, <laughs> just in this movie. Yeah, they, checked, they did that. <laughs> One of the main characters in uh, A Few Good Men, they did that. He was like the PA for Rob Reiner, and then they just didn't have a guy for this role, and they just were doing all the interviews. And this uh, the guy's just in the room with all the interviews, and yeah. he's like, you know, he's like. You hop up there and you just read the line, and then that was it. It was a done deal. Although that guy's career didn't work out, but it's like <laughs> the, the, the the idea is there. 
There's just something fun about that. That's like nobody. You don't have that with a like a, with a doctor. Yeah. There's no one <laughs> like just hanging out. With a doctor didn't show up today. He's your first <laughs> doctor surgery. Didn't show up today. It's time to go. <laughs> maybe there is. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. In, I don't know. Inter- I guess stuff. maybe 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 if you're like a nurse and you've been watching the doc the doctor do the surgery a thousand times, <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't show up. It's like nurse, well, <laughs> it's your, you take the reins. It's your to save this just don't, life. Just don't. Just don't tell. <laughs> don't tell the patient because we're getting sued into the ground. The doctor passed out because he doesn't like the sight of blood. It's your time, Barbara. It's your time. Or Brett. You can be a male nurse. I don't want to be. It's too. It's, it's too. It's too. Uh, um, it's too inflammatory a world to make to have to, to make this fake story where the nurse is a woman at this point. That's where we're at. <laughs> although, um, it, although it is mostly women. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know the stats on nurses. <laughs> Uh, I know the stats on on porn that it's mostly women. We know that for sure, yeah. and uh, and that they and that and that they get the better wages. Yeah. No, I know you've well, been six I mean, months. Kinda, are, you, are, you able, are you able to bump your rate over six months? Like, what's the what's the actual timeline? Yeah, As a comedian, it takes years to get more money. Uh, it, it, okay, so the way that it works is um, your agency pretty much is what gives you sets the rate. Yeah. So um, if you're working more than half of the days in a month, then they're going to up your rate. Um, cause they know that there's a demand. For yeah. Them. Cause there's a demand and you, and they, you usually don't want to work more than like 15 days in a month. Uh, so, you know, like every other day. Cause you don't want, because, well, because why? Um, I think mainly like, the, well, I think you get a better performance if you're not doing sure. back to back all the time. Yeah. So, but then also, I guess this is, this is like a real thing that happens, which is if you flood the market with your content then nobody's like waiting around for it anymore. They could just always find you. So it's like, uh, there's, people yeah, I don't know. Cause it's kind of like with guys, I, I always say that my, my, uh, parents will never find out I do porn cause they never show my face. Ever? <laughs> no, they, they do. I just, it's kind of a joke cause it, it's always the focus is on the yeah, girl yeah, yeah, of course. and it's mainly just your dick in the, in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> you get so, it. so well, it's like you might be working a lot, but nobody ever knows who you are cause they never really, they don't, they never focus on you. You're yeah. not the focus. You get, you like get a if, couple. if the girl cancels, it's like, Oh shit, the scene's over. If the guy cancels, it's like, Oh, we'll just bring in a different guy. It doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the cameraman apparently, or just that guy. Who's the, what is your, yeah, just you come on. You holding the boom? Let me see your dick. Sure, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Cool. All right. Well, uh, let's see. We're we're forty minutes in. That's uh, that's, I think it's, I think it's a hot podcast for people. Tell people Sweet. how to how to follow you, how to find oh, sure. you. Mm. What is your social media? To, to follow um, you my such? social media. I'm Sam Perfect Body. What? I didn't say anything. You you <laughs> you paused. <laughs> that's that, that's it. It's, yeah, it's uh, Sam Perfect so Body. So Twitter is Sam Perfect Body. No spaces. Uh, Instagram, Sam Perfect Body. Cool. That's it. Follow them. Check them out. Pay for your porn. Uh, I like to say at the end of every episode, because uh, uh, if you found your content and it was free, chances are people are not getting paid. Yeah, don't, you, don't you, don't you like somebody, you want you want them to. I mean, maybe them. watch it for free and then send me one. <laughs> <laughs> Just bend, so you send your ven, put your Venmo on there. Um, this is the Boards of the People podcast. We're jumping up a new episode every Monday. This is us at Exotica. Um, check out Sam. Uh, check out his content. Do the thing. Check us out. We're on uh, iTunes with this episode. We're on Google Play and uh, YouTube, uh, wherever you get your podcasts. We're there. Uh, thank you again to my guest, Sam Shock. Sam Shock. Thank you for being here. Appreciate you.